Fancy intro music, yeah! A new patch is here and they're calling it Patch 28. I'm calling it the refit patch because of all the new stuff included inside of it. We have a new battle pass. The event store is going to be live and in action. New events and tons of stuff. Even the return of the Mega Cube. I mean the Doomsday Worm Cube thing. You'll see. Don't worry, we'll show you. But there's a lot of good in here, as well as a lot of, I'm sure, many of you players saying, why the heck do the whales get all the good stuff? This event is bad, and you should feel bad, Scopely. Stop screwing the small players! Stop it! There's good stuff for you, too. And actually, I'm going to just hold off on this, and we're going to jump straight into the beauty that is what I'm excited about. Let's jump on in to the refits menu. So if you've updated your game, you'll get a new screen now, which, by the way, I'll be using this type of stuff for backgrounds. Beautiful gold. Looks like we're in a, a holodeck. Looks great. But if you go to the ship skins and unlock more, this is going to be part of what you're working for throughout the arc and for different things in the future. And I really think this is a great way to add new ships to the game without adding new ships to the game that you then have to spend 10,000 dilithium. Wow, 10,000 dilithium. What could you buy with that? Nothing. What a terrible example. But let's take, for example, this one right here. I have an Enterprise at level 34. You can obtain one. But imagine unlocking the skin to get this. And the skin has a purpose. Unlike the avatars that we've been using for so long that serve absolutely no purpose but just to be a pompous, gratuitous butt. Those don't even go together. This does, look, 70% increase to your weapons damage when you're fighting hostile. So it's not something that gives you a competitive advantage against other players directly, but it does give you a beautifully well-designed model. I think they did a great job with the model. Chuck, gasp, wow, it's amazing. And that's not the only one they've got here. You've got for your ISS Jelly, the USS Constellation Damage Skin, the Battle Damage Edition. You know, looks like one that we're about to throw into a doomsday machine. Look at that. All the different jackups everywhere. They even took the time to fix the number and put the right number on the nacelle. It's not 1701, it's the 1017. I appreciate the attention to detail there. Then you've got a ship that I've been talking about for a long time. Remember, I told one of the devs in our live stream, he was at the live video, that I would pay money to get a bird of prey. Well, here's my Romulan warbird from the original series, and I might just have to live up to my promise. Got my beautiful red bird underneath the bird of prey itself. Look at this model. I don't really know about the whole give me scammy. Well, I don't know what that is. But anyway, the model, beautiful. There's your lights up front. This is a fantastic, nice little change to customize your game, to make it unique to you, give you something to really grind for that makes it fun and still be personal. And then there's even projectile changes. So you want your um, brand new Enterprise to shoot out blue pulse phasers like the old school Enterprise? Well, here you go. You want to have a green beam, which would be more like your auger, being like the Dedederix from the Romulans. There it is. Or if you want the beautiful purple torpedoes that you see from your ISS Jelly on another ship. Well, now you're going to have the option to go through that. I love, love the refit idea. Yes, it is going to be, as you can see here in just a second, we're going to have, ooh, yay. Woohoo, I always can use more titanium. I got to go through all my winnings. Oh, man, rank 13, yay. We got to do better than that, guys. Okay, we got to do better. But anyway, here are your events. So two days right now, we've got a event about going and getting these. Now, attaining the ship skin shard tracker will allow you to start turning in for these ship skins for the G3 ships. Those are going to be the focus for me, obviously, because I'm level 39. The bigger players will see the ones for their ships. So you are going to be facing mostly people in your range. Then you've got the planet killer. Well, we've got a brand new event for that, the Leviathan part one, which is the new mission chain that we have. 
allowing you to collect neutronium and then everybody wondering well what's the neutronium for i'm glad you asked let's go to the event store we get the jellyfish franklin botany bay plutonium there's your discovery if you need to work on getting a discovery some cultivated mycelium elite Ooh, that looks interesting that's a, a nice little new thing for people who really need cultivated mycelium there's the Devore, there's the Vidar, there's the Stella. So if you're needing any of these ships to get for free that you don't have yet, Event Store's got you covered. And then we've got the regular ships, of course. And now we've got Officer Shards, which are really big for if you're needing different officers. I'm, of course, going to push things like TOS Kirk, who I feel is a fantastic officer. And while I don't know how many points I'm going to be able to get, I'm going to get as many as I possibly can. And then, of course, we've got our normal resource turn-ins and then missions later down in the tree and then avatars which none of those really excite me planetary debris one is okay but i'm not spending 150,000 for it but let's get back into the notes i want to talk about some of the other things because we'll talk about combating this basically mega cube which is the doomsday weapon in another video we'll, we'll talk about the mechanics of that and, and how the you should really attack it attack it tactically but let's go into the release notes and talk about some of the best things. So we talked about the refits or skin cosmetics, which I do like this format coming into the game because it's not making a new ship that costs you thousands of dollars. It's literally you grinding out or buying your way to a, just a ship skin that does give you a bonus, but it gets hostile. So it's not even going to make that big whale stronger against your base. Then you've got two new officers, Rare Scotty and Chekhov. We finally get Chekhov in the game. We couldn't have the Chekhov from the new movies, but we get the original Chekhov, so I'm really excited about that. With an impulse increase to Explorers, shout out to Enterprises trying to chase down Jellyfishes and D4s. Then when attacked by a player on a capture, or minor node decreases the damage by X percent. So trying to make those Enterprises into mini sarcophagus ships. Then you got Scotty increasing the warp range on explorers and the repair speed. Now I did get asked, will this pair and work with cadet Scotty? I was told yes. I haven't verified that myself as I don't have TOS Scotty, but apparently it'll work for both. So that's cool. New missions, which we knew was going to happen. Battle pass. I'll show you the avatars and frames in just a second, but there's a lot of them, including an epic April's fools avatar, which you will find out is another triple. Who doesn't love trebles? The ticket system will be returning. Be mindful of that. We told you the tickets will run over from last arc. So if you had leftover tickets, they'll use in this one. And then we've got the Doomsday Encounter events, special holiday events coming up. Here's a huge one. And I've been telling y'all this is coming for a few weeks. The confirmation button for instant latinum repair is here. For if you are going to spend more than 100 latinum, you will get a confirmation screen asking you to confirm if you want to instant repair. This is going to save you thousands of latinum, as I just accidentally instant repaired a few weeks ago and spent, I think, what, six, seven thousand. And it'll really, really hurt. Then we've got a bunch of different fixes in here that I want to hit real quickly, as I appreciate some of these things getting thrown in. For example, the defensive mining ability of Kabish has been fixed. It will actually work now. You're welcome. That's one of the things that we asked the devs to work on just a month ago in our Relay live stream with them where we took bug notes and presented it to them and asked for fixes. I'm very happy to say that a lot of the stuff that myself or either DJ worked with when it came to gathering bug fixes from y'all have been directly addressed here. Not all of them, but a good bit of them. So good to see that. Fix an issue for the Ask the Help being duplicated when getting a new dry dock. Uh, that was not necessarily a huge one, but it was a thing. The issue with faction character name appearing inside the officer store, that's when they did the officer store or the faction store update, and that caused a problem. They fixed that. You got all the characters back now. Fixed an issue with alliances unable to score in takeovers despite paying the fee. This was a big issue for a lot of people. This was reported many times. It has now been rectified. Please let us know if it has not been on your server. Fixed an issue with the capture node art gathering in one place after an update. I actually thought it was cool because it looked like a supernova in the middle of the system, but uh, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Let's see. Fix an issue with territory capture pre-scanning, which meant you were unable to attack an enemy ship docked on a mining node in a system without an owner or owned by my alliance. That was obviously very important to get fixed. A lot of other things that you see here 
getting adjusted. You see fixed with BP milestones or rewards failing to update after their changes. The different UI fixes here with the disappearing click back. That was really annoying. A lot of stuff that y'all have asked for. Uh, missing scrap queue for the second builder. Now been fixed because that was really annoying. Made me feel like my Mayflower was gone and I never got it. But a lot of these fixes have been asked for and the localization issues are going to be talking about fixing problems that you have with things like purple nodes and everything. So if you've had the purple squares, a lot of this patch is trying to fix that. So they did focus on all that. They did try to make that better for you. And that's great. That's great. Hopefully they actually all work. But this is a brief review of the refit patch that I'm actually excited about. And I want to know your thoughts down below. Regardless, you get some good events, some good missions, and hopefully a lot of good fun. Live long and prosper, everybody. Stay safe out there, Space Cowboys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember, we have new videos coming out to cover the planet killer and attacking this stupid massive armada. Because I know a lot of people are going to have an issue with this right here. This event is bad. And you should feel bad, Scopely. Stop screwing the small players! Stop it! But don't worry. We're going to talk about that too. Y'all are awesome. Stay frosty. Remember, Spock doesn't go on the Enterprise. Live long and prosper. All the best. An even better outro than the intro for the Empire and glory to your house.